Yo, good morning. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. It depends with the place where we are watching me from. So I'm coming live from my beautiful home. It's early morning here and it's a Saturday. So I decided to come back home. It has been a long time, five months away from home. And I have my friend right here. Yeah, morning guys, uh, good afternoon guys, and also good evening for those who are far according to the time. Okay. Actually, I'm, I'm Stella Juma. Welcome you back to this channel. Feel home. Yeah, yeah. Yes, guys, if it's your very first time here, kindly consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this uh, video. On today's video is a super special video, guys. Guess what? I constructed a bulletproof house. Yes. <laughs> Guess what? I want to be showing you how everything is and why is it regarded as a bulletproof house. So, for those who were watching my previous video those days back, you saw me constructing. This is not a permanent house. It is a mud house, but it has been it has been constructed in a certain way that it looks modern, but it's really an African traditional mud house, but modified to a modern house. You can see the way that our house looks like this one is the same as this house looks like this one but now this has been constructed differently let's put that aside let me take you around and i want to be showing you why is it regarded as a bulletproof house you can see starting from the foundation up to the walls up to the roofing coming to the what you call like to the window panes to the grills and everything this is how it looks like you know and the reason why you see me with uh, my friend having a wheelbarrow yes. and uh, a, a spade is that we are heading down there we want to do some construction about the inner parts of this bulletproof house it's constructed more than you can see starting from the other side you can come this way up to this I don't like to show it much, but I want to be showing you how everything is. We have been constructing right here. This is the kitchen. This is the kitchen, guys. So, you can see right here. This is how it looks like. At first, it was made by mud, uh, what you call like strong poles. Second, it was made with sticks around. After that, it was molded by mud. After mud, it was smeared by this maram mixed with cement, with sand. Now it looks this way. Then after this, I want to be plastering the outside walls. After that, I made what you call like a foundation, a bricks foundation. I used these bricks that you see I've covered them here to protect them from strong rain. These are bricks. They are my bricks. For those who have not watched my previous video, you can go watch, please, my previous video about bricks making in the village. These are my bricks right here. I protect them from strong rain because here in my village, it usually rain as, as heavy as dogs and cats. And right here, you can see how it is. I protected it around. I constructed this, what you call like this foundation right here to make it strong and uh, firm so that I want to I wanna, uh, protect it from strong water that runs from up the hill right there. It runs this way. You saw me making some some garlic right here so that water can run away from my house this is how it looks like then i plastered the other side but the other side not yet though it's halfway constructed so i'm almost finishing it so let me take you in a quick tour of it so the other side this one i have been constructing it you can see how the walls look like they are so so smooth so this is the kitchen right here this is the kitchen 
draw it not complete because downwards I have to pour concrete then put some flow maybe tiles or cement but I prefer to put tiles on the other side right here you can tell the walls how smooth they are you can see how the walls are smooth there is the window still they have not made it very well but it will be it has been constructed halfway so this other side is very smooth compared to the other side right here this side has been smeared sand and cement but this side here it has been plastered due to this place guys you can see why i regard this house as a bulletproof is that you can see the wall it 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 is around seven inches not even seven inches yeah seven to eight inches to mean this is one wall this is one wall from this part to this part right here even if the bullet hit here it cannot penetrate through you see guys because the other side is kind of dark i want to be showing you how everything is This is the kitchen, it's already smooth. So people will be asking, this is the window for serving this place right here. You serve from this place. So this will be the dining place right here. This will be the dining place right here. But for now, this is a place where I usually work out from. But I traveled long time ago. Now it is. A, it looks like a store. That's my dumbbell and my local gym. And the other side should be now the living room. A room there. The master bedroom. There's a room also right there. Outer room. So as other side, it's really, really nice. Okay. That's how it looks like. Very, very massive. <laughs> yes. So now repairing this, and I want to be repairing the other walls. I repair the other wall. I put up the ceiling. But before I put the ceiling, I want to focus on the floor. Then after the floor, I want to see other things about doors you know things because i fixed the window panes but the inner door still and electricity installation like you see right here yeah for the electricity installation and everything will be nice because you see some empty sockets right here have already been there so up here i want to fix the ceiling and uh, down i fix the floor and everything will be nice so this is the dining place where you see this thing goes around up to the other place I'll put some six seats or five or four and that dining table then you'll be served from in there toward this place <laughs> so let me know in the comment section guys uh, will one know that this is a madhouse actually it's a madhouse a madhouse a local an African traditional madhouse but it is is now modified to a permanent house as you see in there it used to be a bedroom but now I changed it to become a kitchen and I moved from the other side so that I wanna be expecting more visitors to come and pay a visit and I have my friend right here bro what do you think about this house bro uh, this house I'm seeing is very very interesting yes let's go to the lighting yes you can go. yes 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 okay yeah. according to me yes I can see this this house is well constructed yes. I would like to encourage uh, village village people like me here yes to to construct or to build such a beautiful house like this which can which cannot allow bullet to penetrate through exactly so I would like people uh, to visit in our village and see how my village boy 
is well uh, yeah he, yeah. yes guys you know it's not a matter of showing up or a matter of it it's the reality these houses are bulletproof if you take this house uh make this wall's house and let me turn the camera and show you that is a house that's our toilet you can see the wall the way it looks like it's around two inches it's around two inches but this the wall goes to eight inches so tell me between two inches uh two inches like yeah this is a, a two inch of a brick and an eight inch an eight inch of a wall which one will be bulletproof penetrate this is the house a village boy constructed a bulletproof house i prefer constructing this because i never knew guys what was happening my idea was to construct house with bricks but due to not being financially stable i constructed this and i came to realize cheap is expensive this house is very very expensive than constructing what you call like a uh, a wooden or a brick house or a concrete house because this house so far if i can make the calculations of how much that's gonna guys my head wanna pop out so that's not much let me take you around and i show you why we are doing this this is my village right here it's very green very nice very 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 lively you see yesterday we were trying to cut down the flowers we were to cut down the flowers because they were too big like those ones right there they were too big so the thing is we have to trim them when they look very nice we will be trim trimming them because i have a brother of mine who is a florist uh he pursued general agriculture and everything so he knew he know very well how to design and everything that's why he cut them down so that he want them to come afresh that was the reason i told you I, it was cut right so guys this is it that's my neighbor right there this is my house that's my dad's house this is my brother's house so that's how everything is you can see even the fruits right there those are avocado fruits we have some zambarao i don't know how you call them back in your, in your village or in english maybe blackberries yeah that's tree right there so guys uh let us go bring some sand because amazon is about to come and show us how everything is i want to be showing you the process of how it's being mended. yes bro some last words before we end this video bro okay i would like to welcome people yes in on in this channel yes of, uh, my brother i would like to tell them support him actually i support i usually support him in every way subscribing liking and also commenting i would like also to to urge you tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe and consider and uh, like this channel thank you love you so much people we'll meet once again So here is where we remove some materials. Ready? I have the ballast right here. This is the ballast. All kokoto in Swahili. Kokoto in Swahili. 
and right here we have sand also we have more 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 ballast right there and uh, oh, as I told you when you go far and this way to the other side right there is the border of Kenya and Tanzania even you can see some buildings from afar right there right there the border of Kenya and Tanzania because I'm not able to zoom it right there where you see when you look at this pole when you look at this pole very very well let me show you right there right there you see some buildings right there yes that's Tanzania 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 so even the cock the roasters they are there making thanks to almighty just so this is the sand guys yes this is the sand but i'm going to use it to construct my mud house to make it modern <laughs> and that's how you scoop my brother juma also he has a youtube channel he he told me he has opened a youtube channel brother you can give yourself a shout out here bro yes, yes what's your name of your youtube channel oh, my youtube channel uh... Is Stella Juma. Stella Juma. Yeah. I, yes. I opened an account. Oh. Some some days ago. Oh right. So I like to people to support me also. Yes. Yeah. Thank, thank you, thank you, guys. Kindly go check out my brother Stella Juma. Actually, it is a surprise that he told me you know I've already opened the channel. Yes. <laughs> so guys, kindly go show him some love by subscribing, liking, and commenting. And say Cloud Joseph sent me here. You know, it's very few to have friends who are very supportive, you see. He's helping me since day one when we were just constructing that house. Till today, he's with me, you know. Yes, so the thing is, guys, go show him some love. Some love. I'll make sure I've pinned his uh, link down below at the description point. Yes, so... Let's wait and see how everything is wrong. But in initial, this is my village. This is my village, evergreen. And the sun is about to come out right there. Sunrise. Man, man. The good thing, the good thing with, with uh, my village is it's strategically located. What do we mean by strategically located? It's a place where you can see the sunrise and you can see the sunset you know the sunrise from this area right here and the sunset from this side right here so that's the best thing i love about my village and it's evergreen very conducive environment i urge you guys come pay a visit here. who 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 is able to come and pay a visit here i won't come here man come see my village come breathe fresh air that would be the real yes right here yes brother mchanga oh that's really nice bro super power yes guys look how how evergreen is the village man look and from this side will be flowers the other side the flowers so you'll be welcomed in this home like it is a palace and this is how we carry water johnny sasa yes so hi. hi yes that's my brother is is from the other side right there as a neighbor this is a village boy no no need of slaying in the village no slaying no slaying i'm telling you no slaying a man carrying water on top of his head even me nowadays i usually go to the portion meat with, with 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 a bucket full of maize or corn i go and make flour i come back here in the village that's it in the village no slain you know yes that's it i'm not lying i'm telling the reality <laughs>
pay a visit at my place feel free you have a place to lay your head wake up very early in the morning yes feel free that you are home you know as you see the other side it's really nice very massive there are other some muscles inside there they are trying to make a toilet they are making a toilet yeah an inner toilet it is a mud house but it has inner toilet <laughs> let me go and show you how everything is it's really crazy people won't believe me it is a mud house it is a mud house real mud house for those who have been watching my previous videos my previous videos are uh, when i was doing what you call like uh when i was uh, constructing this kindly go check out those videos you really shocked about this house it is a mud house let me go show you the toilet where it's being constructed so <laughs> this is a master bedroom and you see right here i'm constructing a key a, a toilet right here so you'll be coming this way to the other side and you will leave yourself and feel fresh and good so this is the window from the other side so still we are still working on it and see how everything is yes this can prove you now that these are mud house you see this these are sticks all round poles going down so this mud mud here you know because we had to demolish this place so that bricks can go in bricks can go in and uh, to form a joint a joint fall i've been rectified here by my brother uh, say hi bro <laughs> uh, hi 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 <laughs> he's so shy at the cameras a child but he's helping me you see he's trying to do this yeah it's really nice yes and this is a traditional african weapon a bow with arrows for now i cannot show you the arrows but being as a man in the village you have to have this in any case in any case of anything out you have to rush with this as a man you know yes so this acts as a as a as a as a gun here in the village yes guys so this is it we are almost almost finishing you know yes I don't know if you can realize it is um, uh, what you call like a mud house but it doesn't look like a mud house it is now a permanent house you know because look at this wall from this side to the other side and this way it's very 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 crazy it's not easy for a bullet to penetrate through so we are trying to focus on the inner parts then the outer parts will follow as time goes by yeah so that's it guys let me know at the comment section do people construct such houses back in your countries or back in your villages which type of houses do you usually construct it does here as you can see around my village around my village starting from the other side right here they construct using bricks bricks for the far end for the far end right there there's a mud house there's a mud house and uh in the far end right there right there right there they want to see the white iron sheets which is also a mud house so yeah but mine i decided to make it more modern because we are going modern you know so instead of me constructing this such kind of house of bricks i built using uh poles and mud and now i smeared what you call like cement that's why you see it looks like this way you know yeah and the foundation was bricks so this is how it looks like from outside though it's not complete but i believe some days to come it will be ready for everyone who wanna be visiting here in my village wanna be free wanna find place to put your head you know yeah so yeah this is how it is. 
is basically so let me know at the comment section do you people construct such houses because it's more of fun while constructing it and people will be shocked like why 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 do you use this that's how everything is guys you know the work is ongoing so this is the kitchen section bedroom on another bedroom the other side and everything will be nice a very large living room yeah so that's it man peace all to you uh ensure subscribe to this youtube channel if it's your very first time and uh kindly kindly leave a sweet comment share and uh kindly subscribe like comment and share see you on our next video